Hi, I'd like to demonstrate a method that I've come up with for accurately drilling the spindles um, to connect the arm rail to the seat on this uh, Windsor stool. Uh, I've done something a little different, which is I've drilled the center spindle first. Um, I've used an 11 degree angle there. Uh, so it's, a, it's set back 11 degrees from, the, um, from perpendicular to the seat. And I've clamped that into place ensuring that it is pointing straight up. So it is exactly perpendicular to the seat when you look at it um, head on. Now I've then gone and planed two sticks, two pinch sticks, exactly the same length and pointed their ends. And I've placed the ends into the uh, starting points for the drill, uh, for the mortars, for the holes for the spindles on each side. So one at the bottom and one on the seat on each side. I then rigged up uh, some string just to hold the whole assembly in place. And what I want to do is ensure that the seat is parallel to the arm rail and the arm rail is, exact, is uh, in exactly the same size, is, is symmetrical um, around the center of the seat. So the edges of the hand holds here are in exactly the same position um, relative to the front of the seat. So I think you can see that if I know that the distance between the center spindle here and the base of this stick is exactly the same as the distance here and the distance between this point, the distance of, uh, between the mortise hole here and here is exactly the same as here and we know that because those sticks are the same length. When I go to the side, very small movements pivoting around the center spindle will cause the edges of these sticks to move in and out and they're, they're essentially acting like winding sticks. When I have them exactly parallel, such as there, I think you can, I think you'll agree with me that the whole assembly must be symmetrical. I can then take my bevel, my sliding bevel, so it's a little difficult whilst I'm holding the camera. I can then set my, take my sliding bevel and set it to the angle here. As you can see, something like that. And I've got a sight line. I've got one sliding bevel instead of two that are needed. And I've got my sight line set and I can then remove the assembly and drill my, my hole. And do the same on the, on the other side. So I hope you find this useful. Um, it seems to be working so far. I'll try and shoot a short video showing the result when um, when it's all done. Thanks for watching.